Hi, my name is Tom Soden, Director of uh, Sweet and Chili Consultancy, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about the new Genware bar range we've been curating. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run you through the range of strainers which are available from the new Genware barware range and give you a little bit of insight into the thought process that we put into these in order to develop the best product for you guys. So first up, we have the four-pronged strainer. This is your most basic type of strainer and at the absolute price point for you guys. The key difference that we've made with regards to the forefront comparatively to other competitor products is we've changed the spring on this. The majority of competitor brand four-prong strainers have a much thinner, sparser spring. As you can see from this, we have a much thicker spring with the coils more tightly compact against each other to remove more of the ice and more of the fruit from your shaker. Next up, we have the Genware two-prong strainer. This is the real workhorse of the bartender community and in the majority of cocktail bars that you go into, you'll see this strainer and for good reason. It's, a, it's an all-purpose, good, hard-working strainer. One of the key things that we've done with the Genware strainer is that we worked with the suppliers to ensure that the spring was of a much better quality. As you can see here, it is tightly packed from side to side and we've got a nice tight curl between each prong. Now what this does is it ensures that we remove as much of the ice and as much of the fruit as possible. Next up from Genware, we have the Julep Hawthorne strainer, as I like to refer to it. The reason is, is because this is very apt at strain from both a mixing glass and a tin. With most Hawthorne strainers, the fit on a mixing glass is not very good. But as you can see with this, we've got a really, really nice snug fit, which allows us to pour from the mixing glass very well. But also, if we are then mixing with a cocktail shaker, it fits in and has another nice snug fit. It's also a nice, unique style of strainer which consumers wouldn't have seen a lot of. Next up, we have the premium Hawthorne strainer from Genware, or as I like to refer to it, the cat's eared strainer. Now, this does exactly what it says on the tin. It's the most premium in the range. And as you can see here, the spring goes from nearly 360 degrees. We've got a very, very tight knit spring which ensures as much the contents of the shaker stays out as possible. Now, the fit of this onto a Boston shaker is absolute and complete. The reason why this is really good is because even if your bartenders don't use cocktail equipment very, very often, it's going to mean that they're going to strain their product in the best possible way. So if you're only making one or two cocktails a week, the extra couple of pounds spent on this strainer is probably going to do you a lot of good. So that's the range of strainers available from Genware. But in addition to the Hawthorne strainers, we have two other relevant items. You have your julep strainer, which is the ideal strainer to strain drinks which have been stirred. You place it on top of your mixing glass like so and strain any martinis or Manhattans. The other item which is used in order to remove the smaller, finer elements from your cocktails is a tea strainer. Now, this tea strainer is specifically being created in order for cocktails. You can see the conical bottom there, which means the liquid drips directly down, rather than a round scoot one, which can cause the liquid to come out onto the sides and perhaps not into the glass. So that, in total, is the full range of strainers available now from Genware. Four-prong strainer, great price point with improved functionality. Two-prong strainer, the workhorse of the cocktail bar. The Julep Hawthorne, great for both stirred drinks and mixed drinks. And finally, the premium strainer, best of all.